go. Hi, didn't see you there. Welcome to Putnam Park. Today, you will see the history of Israel Putnam himself. And this is Israel Putnam himself. No, not his real body, just a statue. But who is Israel Putnam? In order to find out the answer to this question, we have to dig deep into his soul, find his history, and how he became such a master of his craft. <laughs> is he the great? Something you should know about Israel Putnam is his military background. He fought in the Revolutionary War with George Washington himself. He was a man who fell for the freedom that we now possess ourselves. There are many opportunities to learn about Israel Putnam. I think that we need to share our knowledge with others, but we also need to hear what others know about him. We want to know how much the people know about Israel Putnam. Oh my. <laughs> Nothing? Let me think. I know that the, he's memorialized here. That's a step? Yeah, that's a step. And uh, I suppose you're here on a field trip to find out, right? Yep. And maybe you can tell me, because I don't know. Revolutionary War with George Washington. Mm-hmm. Also, he's famous for killing the last wolf, is it? In a wolf, supposedly, like, this wolf was in a cage, I mean, in a cave, hiding from, um, like, townspeople, and they were all waiting outside for him to come out, but Israel was the only person who dared to go inside. He wrestled that wolf. He wrestled him? Yep, and killed him. <laughs> wow. So, that's what he's famous for. Now, is that folklore, or is that really true? No, that's true. Wow. Yeah. Why did he want to kill this, was the wolf terrorizing the townspeople? I think, yeah, their sheep. He was killing all their sheep. Uh. You know, it was big back then. Yeah. <laughs> they needed the sheep back then. Yes. So he went in and killed them, and everyone, he was, everyone admired him for that. It's 2006, but try to remember back when we were fighting for our freedom. Take a look back with me and see the Israel Putnam. Here he is, <laughs> hiding from the British. Let's, let's approach and see if we can ask him some questions. Israel. Is that you? Have you seen my wolf? You killed the wolf, you're going crazy. <laughs> Tell us, why do you hate the British so much? <laughs> Here's where the barracks were. All that's left is piles of rocks. You can see all the way down. Look what we have here, Israel Putnam. Are you taking a rest from the fighting? Oh, hi. I was just enjoying a nice fine afternoon at Putnam Park. And I thought to myself, what do we know about Putnam? As I've thought many a time. I think back to his childhood, but I don't know what happened. We have to get close to the source to find out the answers. Okay. What do you know about Israel Putnam? Uh, I know that he was um, a general in the Continental Army. Very good. Is that better, right? Yeah, a lot better than our last <laughs> interview. Did you know that um, he fought a wolf with his bare hands? No, no I've never heard that. Crazy. Is that a legend or is that that's, uh, that's based true. on fact? It's based on fact. Really? He went wow. into a cave and killed the wolf and the whole town's people were waiting outside and he came out. I'm on a high-speed chase for knowledge! Okay, I'm stopping. The chase has stopped. So, Toby, have you ever heard of Israel Putnam? Yeah, he's a cool guy. What did he do? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You just said you know who he is. Are you wearing boxers? <laughs> really How do you right feel now? about his involvement in the I Revolutionary War? <laughs> He is pretty cool. Um, he How shot a bunch cool? of people. He did a lot of people died tell here. Me, tell me about the wolf. The wolf? Yes. Oh, <laughs> the one that ate him? The one that he killed. Oh, he killed it. With his bare hands. I heard rumors that it killed Rum him. It was, the rumors are true. True rumors, if you will. True. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh, you. You're really scary. Thanks. Putnam, Putnam! As I rough it out here, in Putnam Park, still on my quest. My high-speed chase for knowledge. And you think this is bad? You should see what happened to Israel Putnam when he dared to fight the wolf. 
don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. I don't want to show my face because I'm a red coat. I'm hated here in America. It's not easy being a red coat. Men like Israel Putnam hunt me down, try to kill me. And all I want to do is keep control of my country. But the thing is, I saved his life. He almost died in a shipwreck. I went down. Where did you grow up? Uh, I like to give a shout out to the Danvers Mass. And what happened? Why did you move out of Massachusetts? Uh, my dad was. <laughs> um, my... <laughs> it's a hard topic for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. My dad was um really outspoken against the witchcraft persecutions. Um, Are you a witch? I'm not, but we did sleep with loaded guns under our beds because people did think that maybe we were witches and warlocks. What are signs of being witches? Um, I guess people think like the ability to fly and <laughs> cast spells. <laughs> I want to go home now. Israel Putnam has always been known as a family man. What? <gasps> Yo, so like you want to show with like the old putt stuff? We are professionals! Israel, what are you doing? <laughs> And we all know why you're called back. It's going to be okay. Buddy. Buddy. I did not do that. Are we ready to film? Are you kidding? I can't work with these imbeciles. It's 20 degrees outside. You're over there making out with some wildebeest lady. I can't <gasps> even take it. <laughs> Slut, you ruined the whole production. I can't deal with this shit anymore. We're, we're through. You again? Vacuum cleaner, washing machine, everything in the whole world. I can't even take it. Wash your clothes, t shirt, ever. I don't even know what to do anymore. Okay. Putnam Putnam. It's gonna break you. Go. As you can see, not many people know the real facts about Israel Putnam. They know his name. Maybe a little bit, like, you know, there's a park named after him. But in tomorrow's segment, segment we'll find out. Putnam Park. I'm Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> Go again. I can't. I have to Go. wear my turban. Go. I have to wear my turban. You're recording. <laughs>